sheriff's office, we get to work with a lot of other agencies uh, to varying degrees. And between the state park, Tulsa Police, uh, Glenpool, uh, we get to do a lot of different things with them, and it usually works out good for all involved. Park Ranger 404 and 405, and I will be in pursuit of the white Ford pickup extended cab with a ladder rack out of Keystone State Park. Edward 16 break. We are Park Rangers 404 and 405, and I will be in pursuit of a white Ford pickup extended cab with a ladder rack, Oklahoma 029, Keystone State Park. Okay, our park ranger back there tried to uh, stop this gentleman for something. Um, you know, he don't have a driver's license. He is uh, not stopping to us. Edward 16, Edward 10, say again. Parks 404 tried to stop him, and uh, he took off from him. This uh, subject is now going down a dead-end road. Um, I'm relatively certain he doesn't know the area, or either that or he's trying to get to his house. I'm thinking he might be intoxicated, uh, judging by how much he's all over the road. 404, 405, I don't think he knows that the bridge is out, so be prepared for him to double back. Okay, we're coming down to where the bridge is out now. If he, we just passed a sign saying bridge is out, so if he didn't know, he does now. Okay, we're going down to where the bridge is out. Okay, now we'll see what he does. Okay, we're gonna be going down a Oh, he's stopping here. Get out of the ground! Edward 16, we're gonna be in foot pursuit west of here. Don't do it, man. Hands out to your sides. Hold on, hold on. Hold on to your sides. Rolls out to roll over in your stomach. Roll over on your stomach, do it now. James, step back one. Roll over! Roll over in your stomach now! Give me a second. Give me a second. Now roll over in your stomach. Put your arms out to your sides like an airplane. Do it now. Put your arms. You're gonna get it again. Put your arms out to the side. Put your arms out to the side. Put it out to the side. Prone out like an airplane. Do, both hands, very good. You killed me. Edward, 16, one in custody. Go uh, 64. All units can slow down. Let's get him up and walk him back up there. Sir, do you want to get tased again? I can't breathe. You can breathe, you're talking. Let's walk this way. Man, you hit me. You hit me with that. I cannot breathe. Watch. I'm not alive. 16, go ahead and roll me up, sir. One time for a gentleman that uh, has been tased. No, no, no. I'm, I'm uh, All right, get up. <laughs> My life's ending. Get up. Uh. Hey, stand up. I can't. I can't, sir. I can't, sir. Yeah, stay still. Oh, you're you're still alive right now. I'm already dead. You're already dead? Yeah. I'll get you up dead. Hi, Captain. How are you? I, I know you. You were. Who's taking him to the test yesterday? Uh, it would be them because they initiated. Is IMSA anywhere? Let's get his feet tied up. Sit down. Let's get his feet tied up. Let's get his feet tied Just relax. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I need you to relax for me, okay? We got some leg We got some leg shots. Leg shots. Anybody got gloves? I got some in my car. You burnt me. Yeah. Trunk of my car. Stay still. We don't want to burn you again. You oh, you burnt me. Stay still. 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 Stay still.
stay still for me, okay? Yeah, I'll kill him because I'm telling okay. right now I'll be dead. Ain't nobody doing anything to you. Just yeah, stay still for me, okay? I'll be dead. I guarantee you, I'll be dead in jail. Okay, well, yeah. we'll take care of you there. You're not going to have a problem. Yeah, you want to bet? You want to kill me right now because I will be dead. Okay. We're not the ones to do that, so. Well, I am. Watch this. You want to wait for him to get He stopped camping the other night, and he was sitting outside of his truck, and I took his camp fee, and I ran his license. He came back flat. Of course, he wasn't driving. He was sitting there fishing. So I've been waiting on him to move. I come to work today, and I thought he was gone. We were sitting down there talking to Deputy Dean, and he drives by in his truck with the window down. I flagged him over, and he stopped. I asked him to step out. And he thought, he said, why? I said, I know you don't have a driver's license. You're a liar. And away he went. So. You're a liar. You're a liar. That's when we got him behind him, oh. and uh, Ranger Hayes and uh, the other Ranger uh, got him behind me, and we followed him out to Highway 151, on to 412, down here to 177th West, over here to Wakiowa, and down here. He he was thinking about quitting a couple times, and then uh, when he pulled in here, he got out, jumped over that fence, ran down. Less than 100 yards. Told him to stop. Told him to stop. Wouldn't stop. That's when I deployed my taser, and uh, he stopped. You need to stay right there, okay? We're gonna have eluding and driving on license. The other deputy said he had numerous 44s yeah, out, out of you guys. Tulsa County. County. He's also wanted out of California. Okay. So he has numerous warrants. Yeah, numerous Very warrants. Very good. Wanted out of Tulsa yeah, County, NCIC California. Uh, endangerment of police officers. Very good. Reckless driving. So. Well, good. Good job, man. Good hey, uh, catch. Guys. I, uh, I've been a cop for eight years. I got into law enforcement because of a close family friend that I admired. His name was Deputy Jim Dickinson. Uh, he was shot and killed August 22nd, 1989. I was 10. And uh, ever since then, I knew that this was something I wanted to do and, and wear the uniform. And uh, now I get to come out here and take guns off the street. And it means a lot. 85 Maroon Cadillac four-door <laughs> probation record, related records. Get a vehicle come out of a drug neighborhood at a high rate of speed. Also, uh, use an improper turn signal. So I'm going to try to catch up to it and see what they're doing come out of that neighborhood that quick. There you go. Turn signal not sufficient. 3CP3 1050. November 4 8, 45th, an Australian on a red Cadillac. Oh, let's see. He's in a no. no he oh, no, I guess it's all away. Hey! Yo! Did you get back in the car? Huh? Sit back in the car. Actually, while you're out here, come on over here. Is this your car or your friend's car? My brother's car. Hey, put your hands right here real quick for me. You got anything illegal on you? No. Since you're outside the car, no, any no, weapons? No. Car, stay in the car. Close the door. door. No, I ain't there. They ain't arresting me. They ain't no arrest. I don't even know. I ain't on a risk. All right. All right. If he's legit, he'll be all right. Just... Your license valid? Yeah. Do you know what a city block is? This guy is in handcuffs because you don't know what anything is. No, just, hey, what's up? I'm like, what's going on, man? He's like, I don't know what it is. I just picked him up from the bus station. Oh, he's all like, all over the place. I don't know what's going on. out of me. He's from country. He from Backwood, Georgia. Y'all scared him. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? Us. <laughs> he, uh, he'll have a story to bring back to Georgia. You damn sure oh, right he will. Believe. As soon as he got him. He ain't even unpacked yet. He ain't yet. yet. OK, is this gun, a regular Don't room? move. Don't move. There's a gun under the front seat. Don't Get out. move. Whatever you do, don't move. You take him out, and then I'll take this one. There's a, there's a revolver right under the, the front seat. Oh, Keep your hands up. Put him up. Get on the ground right now. Okay, I'm getting down. Stand on your back. There you go. Right now. Just sit tight. No problem. You reach back. down and I'm going to put one right here. Track. Start another unit. We've got a signal zero. Multiple suspects. <clears throat> no, multiple. Get on the ground. Mom, get on the ground. Give me your hand. Get on the ground. Put your hands behind your back. All right, I'll check him if you want to. 
Do you have any other guns on you I need to worry about? 3CP3, clear. We have them all detained. What? I know, I already got that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's it. I was just trying to tell you, I ain't did nothing. I'm just laying here. Whose gun is that? What gun? I don't know nothing about no gun. Don't move. Is it a real gun? Yeah. Can I fix that Yes. Yeah, hang on. Let me put my on. Well, as we're talking to the driver, I, I got in the habit of looking under the front seat just to see if I, you know, on, on traffic stops to see if you can see anything because it's a common place for people to put firearms and uh, just looking straight down in plain view from the exterior of the car I saw the uh, butt of the actually the top of the gun it was laying sideways fully loaded revolver Looks like a 357 Magnum. That'll definitely put a, a hurting on somebody's day. Is that your gun underneath the seat? No, it is not. Is this your car? That's my car, yes. Did you know the gun was underneath your seat? Man, I let my cousin hold my car today while I was at work. I worked right down the street. Uh, who's your cousin? He needed to go and pick up. I don't know what he had to do. Who's your cousin? What's his name? Okay, so you don't have a name, so there's no name, no person, so it's just you. I, you didn't you didn't notice that that gun was sticking out from underneath the Man, seat? I had no clue. You had no clue? And you don't know your cousin's name, so it's pretty much just you driving. You've heard all the recent law enforcement involved shootings we've had? I remember the guy in Broward County. Okay. They got killed. Did they still the have a The second that we see a gun, there's a threat. We've got to <laughs> The listen. second I see a gun. Okay, well, we've got to do what we've got to do because we don't know who you are or what potential you've got if you just committed a robbery. So listen, if things happen the way they did just because it was a heat of the moment. Look, trust me, I and, understand. And we had to make sure that we were safe, all right? Mr. Corporal Cullen. All right. Oh, you're a corporal? Oh, yes, yeah, you got two strikes. I'll be straight up with you if you can be straight up with me. I mean, I asked you when I took you out of the car, is there any other gun in the car? And you said no. I get the impression you probably knew that gun was there, probably for your own protection. I know this is, this is a rough neighborhood, whatever. You live in Tiffany Lakes? No. You don't live over where do you stay? Live in Pleasant City. Pleasant City. Are you are you are you, a, are you a convicted felon? Yeah, I am. You already know that, man. If I if I knew that, why would I even bother asking? All right, sit tight for me, all right? Everything worked out well. One gun off the streets by a convicted felon. Our dispatchers at the Broken Arrow Police Department are fantastic. It's a job that I would not want. I would much rather be out on the street. A lot of our dispatchers are married to our officers, so there's a close relationship there. And, you know, we've just always had a great, great group of dispatchers who have uh, been able to make our job out here a lot easier. We are uh, on our way to a disturbance call. We've got a female officer that's there and at first she had canceled a backing car that was en route to her and now she's asking for another one. Sounds like we've got a couple of girls that have been in a fight and we've got a parent involved now, so we're gonna go see if we can help her out. 302, I'm 97. Charlie 302, 2024. Charlie 318, come in. When I showed up in here, all the kids were gathered right here. I got out. And her and Mariah's arguing, and all of a sudden they're swinging, and they stop. And then Mariah kick, keeps in at her again, and I'm trying to get Mariah to get her away from my daughter. And that's where this pushing thing came in, trying to break them up. And that's the only part I had in it. I have somebody saying, and a witness saying it, that you actually hit the girl in the face. That, oh my, what? My dad did not hit her that in the face. So that is so untrue. Don't take my dad with me. Excuse me, I don't think so. My dad did not hit her in the face. Well, I have she witnesses. got a red mark on her face, too. Ah, that was that's so from her, they fought. Easy, okay. easy. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me. No.
Turn around, put your hands behind your back. No, listen to me, my dad! Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Listen to my dad! No, don't take my dad away from me! Huh? Sure. Please don't take my dad! My daughter's one. Don't take my dad! Okay, all right, come here. Have you got anything on you? I have to, okay? Not for the night. No, I love him so much. I have to take him. He won't have to be gone long. You have to take my dad away from me for a night. Well, this is, is not right good for me. You don't understand. On the, I put my hand on the you Holy Bible. Be. Verify it. We need you. your mother. I didn't break skin or anything. And look at me. I'm covered in blood. And I get my dad. He's going to wait. And she explained the fight. And yes, it was musical combat between the two of you guys. OK? She admitted to I pushing you also. I understand. I will. I understand. So mom's agreed to let that issue drop between you two guys. You got no reasons to be over here. Then uh -huh. I would avoid it. To help I would avoid any future situations, even if you're just walking down the street. Probably not a good idea. Okay, I won't even walk in the street. I won't. Okay. And that's just, mom in the porch. That's my wife. Just, Here's the situation. We've got enough witnesses who decided that they wanted to place you under citizen's arrest. That's what it boils down to. Well, that's what I want okay. to do to her. Have okay. her arrested. But, but it is now, at this point, out of our hands. They've signed the statement. They've signed the, the report. That's what they want to do. Okay. We, we're going to take you for a simple misdemeanor assault and battery charge. Okay? Well, I didn't do it. Okay, well, and that's when you will have your chance in court to tell So I have to get a lawyer? Well, I, so I, don't, I don't have the money for I don't, I don't have to. I can't tell you whether to get a lawyer or not. I, I'm arrested for hitting Mariah, and I didn't hit Mariah. You okay, baby? Remember, if I, Mariah, Mariah started to fight with her. Cheryl. My husband would never get a... Listen to me. Okay. I, I okay. grabbed Mariah's arms off Mary and pushed her away from Mary Faith. They're saying I hit her in the face. Mary Faith won't hit her in the face. Mary Faith's nose bleeding. And I'm getting arrested. No, don't touch me. We need you to go home with Mom. What do you mean, Dad? I mean, I just, don't, I just don't want anybody to go home me or anything. Just, she's kind of hot stuff right now, so you'll just go home with Mom. I've got all your information for children. the report. I know that. The little girl that started it with her and started it with her and started it with her, and we're sick of it. Just the system don't work and never will. Stop, Don. Yeah, don't Calm down. All right, you guys are free to go. The sooner we can get him to jail, the quicker he can bond out. Yeah, we'll bond him out. You're taking hey, my I'm husband. Randy. Come and get my truck and take it home. Okay. Do you have, where's the keys? Citizen's arrest. Sure. My keys are I in ignition. Did you see it happen? That's why it's a citizen's arrest. Did you see it happen? That's why it's a citizen's arrest. No. Misdemeanor, not in my presence. So the victim is pressing charges. Yeah, hey, get Martine's over here. Get Martine over here. He said that you hit victim. Mariah. So I have to Because they're all this. against us because I told There's no way oh he God. hit Mariah. I'm okay, telling you that right he'll, now. He'll have the opportunity to tell the judge go. that. Thanks, Martine, for lying. Hush, hush, hush. Don't start it up, OK? Well, it's just aggravating. I, I understand it's aggravating. Oh, God, I'm a don't. law by decision, and here I get arrested for nothing, trying to help my daughter. What in the hell are you doing? My yeah. Watch your head getting in, sir. Okay. Can I talk to you out here for a second? Right tell me your name. Ryan. Can you tell me what happened? Um, me and my friend were in my mom's room uh, watching this show called Hot Rod, and we and I hear a doorbell, and I come outside, and Mary Faye standing there, and I quit being friends with Mary Faye, hey, so I didn't hey, know why. Slow down. Take a breath for me, okay? Okay. She okay. came to my house, and okay. she rang the doorbell, and. I came outside and she's like, you're a little hoe. And I walked over there and I'm like, shut up. And she slapped me across the face. So I dragged her to the ground and we started fighting on the ground. And I got up and I was like, I was like, just leave, leave my house now, get off my property. And then I walked away and she started call, calling me names and my dogs, they ran out and they started chasing her down the road. And then I ran up to them to get him. And they told him how many people like hated me and all this stuff. So I said, shut up. And I was walking away and she slapped me across the face. So I punched her and then I hit her in the nose and she kept hitting me and just punching me to the ground and so I started hitting her back and then her dad drove up out of the car pushed me against the fence and punched me in the face and so I started I started, and then he's like he's like hit the little whore hit the little whore to Mary Faye and Mary Faye starts be hitting me and he's holding me and he's letting her hit me and I was trying to break free and trying to hit her back because she kept hitting me and then he turned me she turned me around and held me and he just started pushing me and hitting me and grabbing her hands and it's like beat the <laughs> out of her like, beat the to the horror Mary Faye and I was like, y'all just leave me alone and my friend Miranda went and told my mom and she came outside and he started calling me on his name just telling me to get over there so he can kick me so he can get her and his daughter to kick my butt and so I ran over here and I couldn't I couldn't really breathe because like he hit me and she pushed the wind out of me because they were pushing me up against the fence. You can go back up there with your friends, okay? okay. I started out as a juvenile fight to have previous histories together. A mutual fight between them, they both acknowledged that. 
I guess the dad drove up on him, saw his daughter in the middle of a fight, tried to break it up, but turned on the victim and hit her in the face several times. And then tried to egg the fight on, trying to get his daughter to fight some more. So he's going for assault and battery municipal? Assault and battery.